Hello everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the PCB board on a candy washing machine. Uh, this also applies to Hoover brand washing machines as well, okay? First thing you'll be doing is obviously plugging out your appliance. Okay, plug it up, plug it up from the mains, very important. Safety comes first, okay? So have your, your machine plugged out. Next thing you'll be doing is coming to the back of the machine. You have three screws, you have one on, on one side here, there's seven mil socket or spanner. Okay, so there's one on, on one side, one in the middle. Uh, just up here and there's one on the other side here just above the just up here above the, the power lead okay so we take off them screws first and we go from there okay I just put down the phone for a second while I'm doing that and and I'll show you what to do from there okay keep all the screws safe as you will be requiring them again um, and remember where they go also, okay? Just keep them in, in little uh, piles from from start to finish to, to remember where you put them, okay? So we'll just take off this last screw here at the back. Keep okay, that safe there as well, okay? Back down to the front of your machine, okay? See the front here? You'll be pushing the lead back away from you, okay? So it just slides back like that as you can see. Okay, and put that away somewhere safe as well. Okay. In here is your PCB board. You see wires and everything else. Okay. I'll show you what to do now with that in a second. Next thing I'm going to do is take out the soap drawer to slide it out. Push down the middle tab. Out she comes, okay. Put that to the side. Next thing you'll be doing is a Phillips head screwdriver. Or your 7 mil socket again. In here you have two screws. One screw on this side here on the left. See the Phillips head there? And one on this side on the right, okay? So we take out those screws next. Again, as I say, make sure the machine is plugged out. We don't want anyone getting electric shocks. Okay, so we loosen them off, okay? That's one. We'll get the solar light here now as well. We loosen them off. Okay, they're loosened off there now. So take out those two screws, okay? There's one out of them, one out, and the other one I'll be taking out there. I'll actually take it out when I take out the board, okay? So now what you'll be doing is taking off this board here. Now what I always suggest to people is put the dial in the off position, 12 o'clock, because when you're putting on the new board, um, um, you just want it to line up, okay? Make sure it lines up. I always just put it in the off position um, to remember what way it goes back on the new board, okay? So what I'll be doing now is grabbing a flathead screwdriver, okay, and I'll be just lifting up here, just just to lift off the board, okay. Like so, okay. See, just coming away from the from the uh, machine there, like that like so. And we just lift at this side here. Actually, something I forgot is there's two screws here. Sorry, my apologies. Two seven mil sockets again holding on the the, the board here at the top. I forgot to mention that. We just remove those, okay. I just use a socket and a screwdriver just to do that with more um, torque, you know, more um, leverage, we'd say. Okay. Okay, keep the screws safe again, again, remembering where they, they go, okay? So now this just lifts off here, this board, just lift away towards you. Okay, like so. Keep coming away there now again. Just a bit of wiggling, but don't go too mad because you don't want any of the wires disconnecting. Just come away there now, few. Okay. Got one little prize here again. There we go. See so coming away there now. Okay. Okay. In here now you'll see your wires. Okay. See them in here. The wiring. Very good idea to take a picture of the wiring to see where they go. Okay. Um. Disconnect that. There's a little clip in here. Just to disconnect the board, just have that loosened off there now. That should come away like so. There you go, okay. So, so here's your wiring, okay, that's your PCB board in here. Very good idea to take pictures of where the wiring goes, or even mark with a marker. Just so you remember where the wires go onto your new board. Look at that little fella, French spider there, keeping me company. Um, so yeah, um, just remember where the, the wiring goes um, when you're putting on your new PCB. 
this plastic just stops any carbon dust getting on your PCB, you can leave that on there as well, okay? Well, I have a picture taken already, and to be honest, I know where the, the wires go back on anyway, but, um, look, if, if, if you just want to take pictures, it'll probably be the, the best thing to do, okay? Uh, so I'm going to disconnect those wires now, okay? I personally got the, my new PCB off a, off a, off a, a machine that had drum bearing issues. So I'm now trying to do this with one hand and hold the phone with the other. So let's see if the camera work. So um, you might have to order your, you might can order them off eBay or or even off the manufacturer, but make sure they're programmed if you are ordering them off the manufacturer, okay? So I'm just gonna put this phone here for, for, for one second. I hope you can still see everything, okay? But I think you can anyway. So I'm just gonna disconnect the wiring as I said, and, and um, we put on our new board there, okay? Okay, that's that taken out. Next thing we're doing, see these clips here? Just holding in the green part of the PCB. You just prise them back. Very gently, no, not to break them. Just prise them back with your hand even, okay? Look, it's coming away there now, see? There's one side off, and this side here. I'm trying to show it in the camera. Prise it back and it'll just come away to, towards you. Like so, okay? So that's the, the board removed from the plastic um, fascia. So what I'm going to do now is grab my new board, okay, which is here, okay, my new board here, like so. We'll be putting that back on, on um, the, where the old machine, where the old board, I should say, came off, okay. So we'll just line up this plastic, put this plastic back on again, where it was. Oh, what is the hole here? Okay, now. And we'll be putting it back on again over the um we'll be putting our board back on here again so see a little hole here that's where your um where your program selector is coming through here on the board I'm just sitting that onto that okay so just find it line it up and push it down okay like so clip it back into its clips again okay you should hear click into place which it is clicking back in there onto place That's every one of them. One more clip here. There we go. Okay. So that's my clips in place. That's my board in place. The dial is, is turning away fine. Okay. So next thing what I'll be doing is putting back on my wiring. Okay. So remembering where they're going, as I said. Okay. They should all line up into the into the into one place, really. But if you're unsure, just have them marked. Okay. So I'll be putting back in my wiring again. Okay. Excuse me. I didn't push that home fully. There we go. Perfect. Good. Okay, I'm trying to line that up a bit better for you. Okay, so the next thing is putting back in my wiring as I say. Okay, here we go. And just fill it over here like so. And this lad here. Next start, next one. And finally this wire going up. Okay, that's the that's the PCB board put back, the new PCB board put in I should say. Um, so now what I'll be doing is just putting it back on again. Okay, so just push your wiring in through here. Okay, and line up the holes of the, the fascia with the holes of the, where the soap drawer is and, and, and the, the holes that you'll be screwing back into. Okay, when you've all the screws back in, you'll be just putting back on your lid again, okay. Um, and you'll be, as I say, you'll be putting back on your lid and you'll be ready to go washing again. Uh, don't forget to put the screws back in here when you've, when you've lined up properly, here and here, and the three screws at the back. Okay, I hope to, you have a successful repair. Sorry the camera work isn't great, I've no one to give me a hand to hold the camera while I'm carrying out the, the repair. So I hope you get the gist of it anyway um, and have a successful repair. You're probably better off ordering the part off eBay, it's where I get parts if I don't have them in stock. Um, you probably just need your model number here. Okay, or sometimes even to, even inside the, the, the machine you'll see a serial number down here, okay? Just in there. Um, it'll depend on what, what you look up really, what you type into, into your search, what will come up. 
So, um, yeah, um, if you are ordering off the manufacturer, just be sure to pro the machine, the, the PCB is programmed, because sometimes they'll sell you a blank PCB, and you have to get candy or who wrote who uh, program it, which is an extra cost, of course. So it's not a big repair. It might have looked a bit tricky there as I was trying to do it with one hand, but it should really take no more than 10 minutes. And, um, and yeah, the main thing is plug out your appliance and the very best of luck with your repair. Um, please, if it was helpful, I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel. I'm nearly at 400 subs, which, which is good. For me, and nearly 400 subs in a year, which is good going, and lots of people are commenting um, just to say thanks. And the videos I put up are helpful to them, so um, I'll keep on putting them out as long as people are, are getting help from them. And um, I hope this video, as I say, was helpful. Thank you so much again. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and maybe give my channel a like. Thank you, have a great day, and good luck with your repair.